Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 11 build 22,543. I have not taken a look at an insider build of Windows 11 since before its release back in October, so this is definitely interesting to see what the future of Windows 11 could look like. I've heard there's some pretty big changes, so let's get started. First off, just taking a look at the taskbar, we can see that the widgets has moved from the center all the way over to the left side. If we go ahead and simply hover over the widgets, it brings it up. We don't even have to click on it, and if we go off of the widgets pane, it goes away. On one of my other machines where I have this build installed, the weather shows up here. So if we go ahead and sign into widgets, the weather will show up down here, kind of like how it shows up on Windows 10 on this side of your display. I think that's a good change. When I first saw the Windows 11 taskbar, I honestly thought that they should have put the weather on the left side of the display. So I'm glad that they're finally bringing that, and I hope to see that in the next major update of Windows 11. However, if we go into taskbar settings, there is still the option to disable widgets right where it used to be. So it looks like they simply just moved the location over to the left and didn't really change much else. But I mean, other from that, there are really no major changes to the taskbar, except for the fact that there's this bar that ends right here. And I know this has been a big problem with developer builds, and I have no clue how to fix it. Microsoft still has not fixed it yet. So that'll be something interesting to see when they finally get around to fixing that. However, one thing that I really don't like about this is in order to get the widgets all the way over here, I had to go to the Microsoft Store and update my apps in the library. It didn't update through Windows Update, and it didn't update when I updated to this build. I had to go manually into the App Store and download the update, which is a little bit annoying considering the fact that I updated to this build just for the widgets on the left side, but I mean, it is what it is. They're still here now. In terms of settings, I'm sure you've noticed this new login icon here. In my opinion, it fits the theme of Windows 11 way better than the one that was from Windows 10, and it just looks more clean, more modern. Here it is inside of the settings application. I mean, it just looks extremely clean. Unfortunately, all the bloatware from Windows is still here, like Spotify, Disney. I wished it would have got rid of this. Windows Pro for workstations does get rid of all this bloatware, but... Not everyone has that version, so we're going to have to move on from that. There is a new Notepad application, which I actually really do like it. It looks much more clean, much more minimalistic, and it matches the theme of Windows 11 so much more. My favorite is Dark Mode, so you can finally use Notepad in Dark Mode. And just compare it to the previous Notepad, it just looks so much better. It is so similar, but so different at the same time. Many people are concerned that the new notepad just takes up way too much space because you went from something basic to this, but I, I mean, I would pay the price to have a notepad that looks like this. Just the transparency, the everything, it looks so much better. There are new audio flyouts, which I am glad to take a look at here. So using the audio controls on my keyboard, we can just see, instead of popping up in the top left corner, they are now at the bottom, where it, honestly it should be. This looks so much more modern and way better than the classic Windows 8 version. There's also a flyout for brightness, however, since I'm on a desktop, I don't have that option. But I mean, I am so glad that that has moved down there. And actually, can we control it? We even can control it with our cursor. So very similar to the one that's found in Windows 11 currently, we can control it like that. We can also control it in here with our cursor. Just overall, throughout the entire operating system, there's a ton of just changes that make the operating system so much better. This new version of Paint was added a while ago, but I never covered it, and it's still not in the final build of Windows 11, so let's just take a look. It's honestly the same, except with those modern icons. However, they did change that. In a previous Insider build, th this was like the old classic Windows 3.1 color switcher, but I'm really glad that they changed it, they updated it, it looks so much better. So if you still use Microsoft Paint, this is for you. It has all of the wonderful brushes, so you can even set as desktop background straight in the app. So things have definitely changed and I am so happy that it did. Just overall around the entire operating system, there's UI changes that have made things so much better. I believe in this version, there's it, yeah, here they are. There are new natural voices available for Narrator. Um, it's narrating everything right now. However, I did see that this is, there are two new Narrator voices. I don't know where to change them. 
I believe that these are them, but I'm not entirely sure. I did read about that somewhere. It's currently not present in public builds. However, there is a new task manager that Microsoft is working on. It's hidden kind of like the Windows 8 start menu was in early builds of Windows 8. And I'm not entirely sure how to enable it, but there is a new task manager. It kind of just looks like the current one except reskinned a little bit. So right right now it's not that special. However, as time goes on, I'm sure Microsoft is going to tweak it to make it look even better than this one because we've had this task manager for quite a while and it's it's time for something new. Okay, so there are new options when you right click on the start menu. I'm going to snap windows to this side and right click on the task and then right click here. There are new options like installed apps. I actually think that might be the only one. Yeah, installed apps looks like the only one that was added here. That's actually a really nice feature. Just right click there and bam, it's right there. Settings is now centered. It really looks a little bit weird considering the fact that I've always been used to having settings on the like left side, how it is. However, they did center system settings and it does look a little bit better, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm used to having it on that one side, like I said, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. I believe Microsoft is working on a fix for that stupid changing the default browser thing because previously you had to go in, yeah, here we go. You had to go in and simply change every single option to Google Chrome or whatever else you want. And it was really annoying. It took a lot of time, especially if you were doing a lot of laptops at once. However, there's now just a set as default button at the top. So that changes everything. It makes things so much easier and saves so much time. So yeah, overall, Windows is moving in the right direction. I think Microsoft should have waited a little bit longer and released this version of Windows 11, because honestly, this is so much better than what we got back in October. I wish they would have released this, but they didn't. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. Definitely let me know what you think the direction Windows 11 is going in. Personally, I like it a lot. And just all of these changes added up make a much better Windows version. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.